In this video, we'll see how to work on the text area checkpoint. Now, what is text area checkpoint means is I'll give you some specific area in that whatever the text comes, you have to keep a track on that particular text that becomes a text checkpoint. Why do I need to keep a track? Maybe if I load for the first time the application, I'll get that particular text. Second time if I load, the text will not be visible. So usually in UFT, we check only the functionalities of the application like this drop down date field or this button but we usually don't select this data and we don't keep a track on this particular text or this on this particular text whether the spelling is correct whether all the alphabets are loaded properly or let's say this text okay so there is some fa feature which is available in uft you can put a text area checkpoint you can allot some specific area and the uft will keep a track on that particular text in that area so let's see that so I'll take uh, some example with hello John Smith or I'll say, take this particular text or I can take this class. So I'll take the same example of my flight sample application. So I'll start from the scratch. So I'll first close this application and then I can go to this new and I'll give the give some name as text area checkpoint and I'll click on create. So after I click on create, if you see here, that's a test which will be created text area checkpoint and what I'll do is I'll first yeah I'll first start the recording by clicking on this record button windows application and I'll use the same my flight sample application click on this plus the path and the folder is already given so I'll just click on this ok apply ok so now if you see that's a sample application open now I'll just type here as username as John the password as capital HP and I'll click on OK. Now text area checkpoint fails most of the time. It will not be able to recognize the text in particular area. For example, now if I want to select this area, let's see whether it captures or not. How do I insert text area output uh, text area checkpoint? There are two methods. One is I can go to this design menu bar and I can go to this checkpoint that is text area checkpoint. That is one method. Second method is on this recording toolbar, if you see the second last option, there's given as text area checkpoint. Okay, so you can select either of them. So now if I select text area checkpoint, it will minimize UFT and it will say where is your area? What is your area you want to keep a track? Now what I'll do is I'll select this area. Hello John Smith like this. And I'll leave it. So once I leave that, as I said, text area checkpoint will not work sometimes properly. It is not able to recognize that particular text. So if you see, check that nothing is displayed. There's nothing, no, no text is given. Even if you click on this configure, there's nothing which is given here text. Okay, so I'll just click on this cancel button. I'll give one more try. What I'll do is I'll insert this text area checkpoint and I'll select this text. So let's say if I select this, class and tickets if I select this area whatever falls in that particular area I want to keep a track and I'll select that click on OK so now if you see it's visible check that class space tickets is displayed so now it will keep a track every now and then it will select that area find that text now it is visible here and if I if I just click on OK so if you see here that's a script which is generated the last line which you see second last line here that is check checkpoint this is the name of that particular text area which is given here right and finally what I'll do is I'll just click on this close okay one more one more thing which I forgot to tell you when you put a text area checkpoint there is no checkpoint timeout for example if I go again click on this text area checkpoint if I select this text in this place and if I click on this OK button okay you'll get the same dialog box features will be the same like text checkpoint but few things like checkpoint timeout will not be visible it is not visible here so it says I'll not wait for that particular area I'll just go normal method the the time which every step takes I'll take the same time and I'll just click on OK so here if you see that's a ticket is displayed click on OK right and finally I'll just click on this close button click on stop so right now at this moment I've captured two text area checkpoint and I'll just execute and check. I'll just run it, click on run button. Since I've made no changes, it will not throw an error message. It will directly pass. Okay, so you see text area checkpoint result is pass. And if you see everything is given as pass, there's no failure given here. Okay, text area checkpoint is passed.
this one. So where are the text area checkpoint objects placed? So those objects are placed into the object repository. I'll go back to the action. I'll go back to resources, object repository. Now if you see that's a two checkpoints which I've captured. The first one if you see that is WPF tab strip class tickets. So if I don't make any changes, obviously it will pass. Developer if he makes some changes, obviously it will fail. I don't have the software, I don't have the code of that particular MyFlight sample application. So I cannot modify that. Why not change my test objects? These are test objects, checkpoint objects. What I'll do is, instead of class tickets, I'll put as class 2 tickets, some modification. So it will check that class 2 tickets are present or not and I'll click on OK. I'll click on close. That's it. So now if I execute, let's see what is the result I'll get. Okay. So it will not wait for checkpoint timeout. It will directly jump from step to step and finally it has given me the error. That's a mistake. That's an error given here. Text checkpoint WPF tab strip. Let me find out what is the message given. So if I just scroll down like this. Yeah, here it is. Expected is class 2 tickets whereas the actual is given as only class tickets. So that's a defect again. Okay, and that is the error message given here. So I hope you're able to understand how to keep a track on particular text. Even if you're doing your functional testing with UFT, non-functional testing can be tracked by UFT. So I hope you have understood and that's all for this video.